Hello, and welcome to Press Talk Audiobooks. I'm Mike Hayes, publisher, with the motivating story of Gary Patterson, founder of TheFiscalDoctor.com. Gary is a unique business consultant and coach who has been helping businesses of all sizes and business leaders to find blind spots and avoid mistakes so they can make better decisions and stay on course. I've invited Gary Patterson to tell us in his own voice about the unique program he's created and what makes him different as a business consultant when it comes to helping business leaders. Everyone's got a magic seven steps, ten steps, but most people don't come back and say, well, you know, Mike, why do you want me to help you? I, I'm big on let's get the right questions and then I'll be glad to share I've got 10 questions, five that find blind spots, avoid mistakes, five to grow your business. But key is, I've got to understand what you want. Think of me as the aha moment person. Answer these, find the million dollar blind spot before it finds you. And I don't want to scare off you or some other people because I was there when a $5,000 blind spot was more than I wanted to pay. I wish I'd have known what I know now. But I enjoy finding the million dollar blind spot with you in time so that, you know, your world's a whole lot nicer than it would be. How would you describe the person who is your ideal client, Gary? I feel passionate about helping in real estate. Is somebody that says, Gary, I am so tired. Why do I feel like we're stuck? And some say, you know, why do I have this feeling that we're a best kept secret? We shouldn't be. And the third one is, are we coasting on what we've been doing in the past? Those are the three types of categories. Whether it's a little company, a large one. I've helped small companies that have a technology that have items, you know, the few million up to maybe 30. I've helped the big companies too. What I've developed over time, a different version of that really fits across a wide spectrum. Once I understand what you really want, why do you want to help? What do you want to do? Why is it crucial to you? Business leaders often need to play a number of roles, and so they need the help of someone who's also flexible. Tell me about some of the ways that you can help someone who needs help with a variety of business challenges. Whether you're a two or three person firm up to 10,000, it's lonely at the top. A lot of these people want somebody they can talk to who will tell them the truth, not what they want to hear. I've got something for that. I call it Virtual Business Advisor, VBA. Think of something that's more strategic than most interim CFOs or CPAs, a whole lot more financially oriented than a coach, flexible, a little easier to deal with than a board of directors. That triangle is what's a VBA for the person that wants someone to talk to. The second one says, I know what I need. I really have this special situation. I need someone to come in and help me in the area of what the financial orientation, the finance system strategy. The third one just says, Gary, I don't know what I got out there. Can you come in and help me find the million dollar blind spot before it finds me? Something in my gut doesn't feel good today and I don't like being there. Now you've mentioned marketing. Is that something you help business leaders with as well? I'm the fiscal, as in finance systems and that doctor. Until we know where you really are financially and where you want to be, I don't know that we can give you the right marketing prescription. So I am the finance and accounting as amplified by the systems and the strategy to get you there. Then we bring in marketing expertise because now we know what you want. Business is problem solving. But what if I'm a business leader with a challenge and I'm just not sure what to ask you or how to ask you about something I need to know? Some people are going to say, Gary, you know, could you look at my financials? It sounds like you might see something that I don't like financials. I mean, not just small companies. Take a look at that. Someone's going to say, someone's getting ready to buy me. I'm ready to decide, do I expand my business? I project sales and they never show up. And my salespeople just keep telling me, sales phone is as big as it was, just move everybody out 30 or 60 days. 
If you want to know more about the numbers, which are really the throbbing, think of the blood going through your business to grow, you've got to know where your numbers are tonight. Otherwise, you're going to be having that call of, you know, you're going to invite one more crisis you want to get out of. Crisis could be, oh, I've got Friday's payroll covered, but what about the next month's payroll? Those are not the kind of things that you want to worry about. About the second or third time that happens, you probably should call me. Anyone who's ever been a business leader knows there's always some problem that can keep you up all night. And you really need to know someone who understands that and that you can talk to about. Is that one of the ways that you can help in a variety of situations? If you think of me as like a Susie Orman of business growth, there's five type problems that you really want to avoid. The first one is, where do you make your money? Do you, how good a handle do you have on profitability of customers and products? The second one is, who isn't going through change right now? on these things. Never fun. How well prepared are you for that? The third one is you're a little bit too optimistic on your financials. Your balance sheet or your procedures, they're way outdated. Fourth one can be just as simple as where is the opportunity cost going to really cost you money? You need to move things around. And the last one, if we're politically correct here, I'll say puffery. If you want someone to wear the black hat and tell you the truth, is you're kidding yourself so badly and you're making bad decisions because of that. Now, where does that light? I think your question, glad to share case studies that are on the website. I've been in there where people ordered an extra $30 million worth of inventory, an extra 30 million. So inventory, that also means we had to find the cash for it. I've done systems issues where you come back and how can we run it better? I've helped early stage growth. I was in the restaurant business, bringing Rally's hamburgers to this world when that was such a radical idea. It was venture capital backed, if you'll believe that. 99 cent hamburgers. Gary, is there an important question that I haven't asked you? The other one usually is someone saying, boy, Gary sounds really, really good. I just wish we could afford him. There is the free conference call up front. And again, I do different things. I mean, if I'm basically this VBA helping you selectively, pretty reasonable. I mean, you can pick my brain issue. There's, there's the version that's a little under a thousand bucks up to more substantial amounts of money. If you're a larger company, if you're a small five, 10, 20, 30 million dollar company, I can help you. If you're the hundred, 200, 300 million dollar company, you're going to want a different type help. I don't think we looked at this, and maybe someone says, Gary, I just don't know if I can afford you. Yes, you can. You can't afford not to have me, I would probably say. Gary, do you also help nonprofit companies as well? Certainly do. Everybody wants to avoid what, let's call it the crisis call. Crisis call is, you know, you're the person who has to make it. You know, I really never wanted to call Aunt Susie or Uncle Joe for money. Well, you never wanted to call that major donor. If you're the major donor, it's like, oh my goodness, are they going to call me again? You know, I know they're struggling over there at the company and you're the donor. You don't want to have to write a check. There's a point at which you come back and say, why don't you have a call to Gary? You know, that's what coffee was invented for. Virtual coffee says we get on a call like this. Let's solve these issues before you either have to make or receive those crisis calls. I'd also call that, that's finding the million dollar blind spot before it finds you. That was the book I wrote. And the issue was when you're working 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, you don't have time to see what's going out there. And when you don't look at some of these, you know, dead rats, 800 pound gorilla issues, there's a point at which your people won't tell you anymore because you didn't respond to them the last couple of times so they don't even look for these incoming missiles. And sooner or later, it's never a good time, that's when they find you. That was my passion of why I enjoy doing this because if I find it for you in time and you, you engage me, we can solve it. You wait till the last minute to do it and unfortunately you're going to be one more of those things where people say, I remember when Montgomery Ward was around and then they say, you know, Montgomery Ward, who in the world is that? You know, the things with it. They're the people that Sears Roebuck saved themselves from. 
So think about it. This world changes fast. You know, be a little more modern for the next generation. And let's talk about Blockbuster Video. Went from nothing to the top of the mountain and to the bottom of the valley really quickly. Don't let it happen to you. Almost everybody, but I think especially business leaders, will do almost anything to avoid embarrassment. And sometimes it's difficult to admit or confront a mistake or a challenge. How can you help there? I have made most of the mistakes you're going through. They were very painful, and I won't even tell you that I only made them once. Why do you want to make them one, two, or three times? Been there. I was every C-level officer. Stanford MBA, KPMG CPA, CFO, CEO, CTO, CEIO. So I have, I have had the joy and satisfaction of scars, losing hairs. Why not take advantage of my pains so you have less pain? So Glad to help. Gary, in closing, let me ask you this. I know you have solutions, even big problems that, you know, seem huge and you can turn them often with the right applications from a 500 pound boulder into soap bubbles that can simply be popped if you know what you're doing. And also, if you will, tell people how they can have a friendly and problem solving conversation with you. The good news is it may be that a short conversation will solve this thing. There is an alternative that you just can't see in the heat of battle. The other thing may be it's more complicated. Whatever it is, you know, that's this talk to someone who will tell you the truth, who really, really wants you to do well. That's me. How to find me to have that call, you know, just pick up the phone. 678-319-4739. 678-319-4739. The website is www.fiscaldoctor.com. F-I-S-C-A-L-D-O-C-T-O-R.com. You know, it's Gary at FiscalDoctor.com. Give me a call. Let's have coffee or virtual coffee. 15 minutes might make your life a whole lot more fun.